Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. This will probably be a quick little test today. I've just done a flip cup pour, which you will probably have seen by now in green and autumn tones. And there was, oh, just about a quarter of a cup of paints left in it. So I'm just going to do a quick test and see if I can kind of done do a Dutch pour come Aussie kiss on this little canvas. And just I'm just trying to um, use those leftover colours rather than waste them. So I'm going to pour some paint on this. It's got a bit of yuck in there, but I'll sort that out. That's absolutely no problem. So this is all Montmartre Studio Acrylic and it's mixed with my normal um, clear PVA glue uh, and the water at 70-30. The recipe is in the drop down box underneath this video as are my supplier in Australia. If you're overseas you can get all these items still if you on Amazon I believe if you google it. So I think in any country really wherever you are if you just Google it, your local distributor, if they have one, will come up for you. So, yeah, not too worried about this particular because I shall be blowing some paint around. But I feel that I may have had, should have had that a bit thinner. I say it every time, but it's not. So let's just, let's just, let's just try with what I've got. So it's just using over that leftover in the cup. So we will see. It'll either make a big muddy mess or it will create something nice. So I'm just going to... Yeah, let's see how we go. I'm going to do it around the edges. I might just get a bit of my gold um because this is nice brownie tones i'm just to get a bit of the montmartre gold in the pre-made pouring paint to see if i can oh, put some further up i did this the other day and it it sort of ended up framing the um you know coming right on the periphery is it the peripherals the very edges and it sort of then created this nice gold rim on the edges so why not try it, hey? Why not? So as I said, it will hopefully only be a short video for you because I just wanted to try this. So here we go. Here we go, here we go. What I'll use is, I'll use my mini blower and see how I go. If I don't get, if I can't get the um, results with the mini blower, I'll go to my hair dryer. So I've just got to show you. The mini blower has a little USB thingy, duva, port, whatever you call them. And this is the cute little mini blower. Now they sell these at Capriol Shabby Chic and I believe you can get them overseas on Amazon. So it's very cute and it does usually does the job, especially if it's only a small area like I've got I'm going to go back that way so there was a lot of brown in this anyway because the previous pour I did was an autumn pour so that's where all this brown is coming from Probably shouldn't have put that gold so far back. So yeah, the brown isn't because it's gone muddy. The brown was actually in the previous paint that I used.
Nice having that gold back there. I think I might put a bit more gold down here. Just see how it goes. Oh, because it was, yeah, supposed to be an autumn pour, the previous one. at that so it is like the real that that brown was um it was the burnt it was burnt umber and i added a blob of black in it so yeah it's it's actually turning out really nice with the gold it's beautiful so just give it a hit with the uh heat wand wonder wand good feed good just gonna give a little bit of a blow out I like it. I like it. I'm going to do some tiny. So I'm, I told you I was doing a kiss and blow. A kiss and blow. So I'm going to do my tiny little balloon. That, well, it's it's just an ordinary size balloon that I just put over the head of the tap and fill it with a bit of water so it gives it that bit of weight. And I'm just going to do some ballooning in the one edge. Just the tiny balloon, so it's probably best if you um, wait for you know 15 20 minutes at least before you start ballooning if you've got a lot of paint on your canvas because it just gives it that extra time for the paint to absorb into the canvas and um, you get better results with your balloon. So that's if you are having trouble, which a lot of people have told me they are, that they thought this balloon kissing was so easy and that, and that anyone could do it. And then when they've had a go at it, they found that it wasn't as easy. So there you go. So I just wanted to do it around this area. And I might leave that to dry off a little bit now and then come back and see if it needs anything. But that is, oh, oh, look what I've done, silly duffer. I went and my finger slid up there, but there's nothing that a balloon can't fix. Gives it the kiss of life. A balloon kiss of life. There you go. So that's a real autumny one with the gold in it and the brown. So yeah, that is burnt umber with a blob of black in. It actually makes a really nice, rich, chocolatey brown. So I might just leave that for a while and then I will come back and see if it needs anything else. If it didn't, then you will be seeing the finished product. Um, oh, what am I? not having a good luck today you'll see the finished product at the end i will put photo 
I'm just going to give this a little blow over. I love how that gold shining through there, just a bit through it. That's lovely, actually. I like it. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that, you kind people. So I hope you like that one. It's another little bit of a difference. Um, different one. I'm loving doing these blow and kisses, but it seems like the blow and kisses that I do in the really bright colours seem to be the most popular. I've got a puppy here that's eating something that's full of fluff. No. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> it's chewing a... Uh, can you see it? A oh, tennis ball and it's all pulled off all the fluff so that's not very puppy friendly because he will end up choking on that but anyway okay guys let me know what you think about that was a short and sweet one and um yeah it's a real nice autumn one that would look absolutely beautiful with a gold front a gold floating flat floating flame floating oh poop floating frame oh my goodness Okay, thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free. Until next time, bye for now. Oh my goodness, I know you're going to say, what has she done? What I did was, <laughs> because I did tell you it was an experiment just with the leftover paint. So what I decided to do was over the complete whole lot, I just poured my berry along the top and I gave it a swipe with my plastic file divider and just come into all this kind of loveliness. But I, it, I just wanted to, because it was experimenting with the previous kiss, kiss and blow, that I thought, oh, well, I'll see what the swipe in the berry comes out like. So, whether I add this bit to the end of my video, not sure, but I just wanted to um, film it because if it turns into something absolutely stunning, oh, look at that, that I can do again then obviously it needs to be filmed so while you're experimenting why not I'm going to leave the bottom of it because I like that looking as though the rain's falling down and then just play with this top with the little water balloon see what I can bring up so obviously if you liked my kiss and blow technique then you just leave it at the kiss and blow but because I'm in my art lab mode today um experimenting with different paints with different techniques then i like to push it that bit further so yeah just swipe with that very berry color just add in some like little fireflies and fairies at the top definitely looks like the rain's coming down So just bear with me, but I really like this now. So I've kind of turned something into, I, I did like it, but I like in this so much better. It's really pretty. So I don't know whether you could get it to turn out the same if I didn't do it the same with the blowing, the blowing beforehand or not. But that's turned out quite pretty. I don't like and I'm not sure why this is happening because I'm only putting two small drops these holes I mean they kind of look okay but what I would normally do with that is wait till it dries off a bit and then just give it this tiny water balloon kiss in those big kind of holes so I'll come back and see see that's probably a bit too wet to do it the paint's a bit too wet to but 
I just don't like those blobs very much so I didn't want to go further into the canvas with the balloon kissing but I don't like those blobs so I have to change them and that's how it goes it's remember your art room your rules your way so that's turned into quite a nice little piece actually these I'll have to give you some close-ups so wait for the photos at the end because they're really pretty really pretty effects in there so there you go there you go I'm happier with that than I was the previous but how's that that you can get two completely different looking paws out of <laughs> uh, one sort of canvas or one you know what one way you were going and then you just take it in another direction if you're not happy with it so so there you go thank you so much again for joining me wait for the photos at the end and I'll give you some close-ups <laughs>